Hello Mrs. Reister. For this part of my video, I'm going to show you this beat I created, but it's not just any beat. For this beat, I used samples. I sampled my own voice, and what I said was things that I learned this month, my mistakes, and where I could strengthen, and the things that I did great. So here's an example of what I did. Well, I'm going to just play the samples for you, basically. It was all g Mrs. Informative. I just some slides. Yeah, I but the, yeah, I some slides. Some slides. The slide was pretty good, but this month I know why we were we were the slide was the slide was pretty good, but the pictures were at but the yeah, I read some slides. I just informative. Mrs. Mrs. It was it was it was all Petrakut Petrakutcha some slides. So that's basically the stuff that I recorded. Next, I'm gonna play the clip of the entire beat. It's just a short little audio clip. So you can hear what I came up with and how I put it together. But that was just me showing you that I did sample it and how it all came together. Thank you. Mrs. Reister, Rice, Rice, Reister, Mrs. Reister, Ted speech. It was all good. She said she liked my speaking voice and it was all good. Informative speech. She said I memorized good. I just needed to watch my profile. Some slides need a work plus some slides need a work plus I need a hook. Yeah, I read too much. Petra Kucha. Yeah, I read too much. Petra Petra Kucha. Yeah, I read too much. But the content was good. But the content was. But the, but the content was good. The slide was pretty good. But the pictures were average. The slide was pretty good. But the pictures were average. Thank you very much. We were way short on time. Now I know I got to manage. This month, I know I learned a lot. What were your feelings about signing public speaking prior to taking this class? I never took a public speaking class before, so I really wasn't too sure what to expect. However, I must admit that I was a bit nervous at first because I felt that people wouldn't understand me because of my accent. What were you most nervous about during your presentations this month? During my presentations this month, I was most concerned about standing up in front of everyone and talking. It seemed so weird because our class is so quiet. What helped me to overcome this was our first practice speech. This really made me feel comfortable talking to the class. Explain your delivery strengths and weaknesses during each of your speeches. Listen in terms learned by your speech parents. On my narrative introductory speech, I think that I did my best. I used all of the things that Reynolds spoke of. I was natural, I kept it simple, and I knew my limits. For my industry professional speech on JD, my strengths were a knowledge of the topic and this made it more comfortable and natural. A weakness in my opinion was at times I tried to give more information that was really needed. I would say that our strengths in the Pecha Kucha was content. I think that we covered everything that needed to be covered. However, our presentation wasn't that natural because we weren't that prepared and we didn't keep it simple, which is something that Reynolds says is key. For my pitch, I also think I did really well. I was enthusiastic about my product and kept it very simplistic while being natural. How did the audience respond to your visual presentation this month? Please explain the difference between the old and new style. The audience seemed to enjoy my visuals this month. Attention was drawn by the slides, but none was taken away from me. The old method of visual presentations involved just putting a bunch of words on a slide and letting the slide do most of the work rather than you talking. This month, I learned that the slides are just an aid to help you get your point across and I should not really depend on them to carry my presentation. Also, I learned that the less words on a slide, the better. How did the TED Talk podcast help you with your delivery and presentation? My TED Talk speech helped me because it gave me an idea of what a good speech is like, and the whole assignment basically outlined what was expected from me this month. Which speech did you enjoy giving the most or the least, but why? I have to say that my favorite speech was the narrative introductory speech even though it was not great. I enjoyed this because I got to share real life experience with my classmates and in turn got to know them better. Define ethos, pathos, and logos. Explain how you use these in your speeches, especially your persuasive speech. Ethos involves our respect and credibility towards the topic. Pathos has to do with our emotional connection and logos has to do with statistics and evidence supporting our topic. The way we use this in our persuasive speech was by showing our credibility in us all being aspiring industry professionals by showing how piracy could hurt the music business we love if we kept being involved in such activity and by showing stats on how much record sales are down compared to what is being illegally downloaded. 
What is your greatest delivery strength and greatest delivery challenge? I would say that my greatest strength is content. I think that I'm good at putting together my speech. Unfortunately, my greatest weakness is memorizing that content. What did you learn from the different presentations this month? From watching the different presentations this month, I've learned that everyone has his or her own way of presenting. And though this might work for them, it might not work for others. On a scale of 1 to 5, how would you rate your overall presentations this month, 5 being the highest? I would give myself a 3.5. There were definitely some places where I would have liked to have been stronger. What's the point of having a thesis statement in a presentation? I think the point of having a thesis statement in your speech is to give the audience that immediate connection instead of leaving it up to them to decide what the topic it is. Also, it shows evidence and your connection to that topic. What have you learned from the master Ken Robinson this month? From watching Mr. Robinson, I learned that you don't need to move around to keep an audience engaged. It all comes down to the connection with them and knowing what to say to keep them interested. Why is the introduction so important? The introduction is so important because this is the first element of the speech and it's basically what decides if you have your audience's attention or not. You must have your attention getter. This is what draws your audience to you. You must have a psychological orientation. This shows how you are connected with the topic and will in turn make your audience interested. Lastly, you must have your logical orientation. This includes your thesis statement and gives your audience a sense of direction. What are your feelings towards public speaking after this month? And what are you going to take away to youth in the future? I feel a lot more comfortable as far as public speaking goes now. I hope to get more opportunities to present in the future and will always remember what Reynolds and Duarte preached to us. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy Mrs. Reister. Thank you for this month. You were great. Bye, Mrs. Reister.